Okay, so we are going to do one take fifteen. Okay, so this is this is actually the the classic prisoner's dilemma game. And it's a simultaneous game because they're making the decision at the same time, basically, without knowing what the other person is going to do. So let me draw the box. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm reconnected, so we're good. Okay, let me just finish my graph here. Okay, so Jesse, we call player one, usually whoever's on the left side of the of the table, and Frank. player two. So I'm going to fill in, I'm just going to put C for confess and then SM for stay mum or stay quiet. And let me fill in the table. Oh, negative 10. Okay, so I have it set up. So this, uh, what I'm going to show you is the strategy you'll use anytime you have this kind of game to solve for the Nash equilibria. There could be one or there could be more than one depending on the game. Okay. So uh, the idea of the Nash equilibrium is similar, is the same as what we just talked about, except in the in the sense that the question is, given what my opponent or my this other person is doing what is my best response what is my best choice in other words what what gives me the highest payoff um, the idea is the same it's just a different strategy for for finding that when we have these boxes versus the tree game so the way i do it is i say okay let's say that given let's say that frank is going to confess if he confesses, we're looking at this column here. So what I'm saying is, okay, if Frank confesses, or given that he decides to confess, what is Jesse's best move? Which means that we are comparing the negative 5 to the negative 10 for Jesse. So given that Frank confesses, Jesse is going to confess because negative 5 is better than negative 10. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Five years versus 10 years. Yeah. So I'm just going to I'm just going to put that in a different color to say okay, he's he would choose that given that Frank confesses. And then we do the same for stay mum, given or if Frank decides to stay mum, what is Jesse's best move? So again, he's comparing the negative two to the negative three. And negative two is better than negative three, so that would be his choice. So I'm gonna highlight that in a different color. All right, so far so good? Yes. Okay, so we're halfway done, because all we have left to do is do the same thing for Jesse. We say, Given that Jesse confesses, what will Frank do? Or given that Jesse stays mum, what will Frank do? So let's say given that Jesse confesses, we're looking at this first row. Frank is now choosing between negative 5 and negative 10. And obviously negative 5 is better, as we said. So that would be his choice. So I'll highlight that in a different color. 
And now we say, okay, well, given or if Jesse stays mom, what would Frank's best response be? Well, he is, these are supposed to be negative. I failed to put negatives. He would be comparing a negative three to a negative two. And the negative two um, would be better. So I will underline that. And anywhere you see both of the numbers underlined, that's in orange, that's a, what we call a mutual best response. That would be a, a Nash equilibrium. So I'm going to circle those. So those are our two Nash equilibrium, um, which I'll put NE for Nash equilibria, would be confess, confess, both of them confess, or stay mum for both. So with our simple analysis, um, we don't know exactly what's going to happen um, because we're predicting there's two Nash equilibria. So what actually happens could depend on lots of things. It could depend on, oh, is this just a, a one-shot game? Are they going to have to play this over and over again? Uh, we really can't make another prediction given this information.